studio, I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Idaho's been really struggling. The losing streak just seemingly continues to grow, and just when they think they find an answer, somebody changes the question. Can they find the right answer in this one? We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Idaho is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He's to the 20. Tries to get around the corner. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's taken down at the 35. Gibbs gets about a yard on the play. That brings us Watch 14. Watch 14. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. Smith awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at about the 49. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup from their own 49-yard line. First down. Barnes takes a handoff, and he's tackled around the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Around the 46 yard line. That'll make it third and five. From the 46 yard line, it's third down. Looks to him again, complete. He's knocked out of bounds around the 39 yard line. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. He's at the 30, 
He's at the 20. Makes it to the 17. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 17-yard line, first down. the stop at the two-yard line. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. on the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 61-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two, brought down at the 27-yard line. Idaho's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throws, and it's incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Five wide. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Check three, check three, check three. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. Ball of game of 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. Let's go. Let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. Back 41. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 26. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. down. All day, just like that. Just like that. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Got a man in and out of his hands. Fowler's the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. 36, 36. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 26. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Gain of six yards. That makes it third and three. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws to the receiver and he's got it again. Nice play to set up first and goal. Williams on the tackle at the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. And they'll get him in the backfield. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the 12. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. Three yards there on the option keeper. Well, the safety's coming up, making plays near the line of scrimmage. That tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. 
They come out on an empty backfield. He's got it. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 72-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys oh, can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. We get a tie game at 7-7. Low from the nine. He makes it to the 32-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. We're all tied up and more action coming hopefully here in quarter number two. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 20 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Brought down at the 12-yard line. That makes it second and two. up front. And he adds the extra point. So a four-play, 69-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And down he goes at the 29. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. He gets hit out of bounds at the 37. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Roger, Roger. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackled right away. 
Fires it out. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 46. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's brought down quickly. Call it a game of seven yards. Third down. Roger, Roger. Mike 41, Mike 41. And he's immediately tackled. McKinney on the tackle with the 29 yard line. First down. They come out in a five wide set. an open field tackle. Massey brings him down at the 21-yard line. That brings up second and one. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. What a play, and that is first and goal. And 17 yards. That makes it first and goal. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Receiver, touchdown. So there's the quick pass to the receiver for six. And the receiver does a nice job here of fighting off the defender to get to the ball. That was a nice pitch and catch. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Anderson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Lowe fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. What a collision. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping. Receiving team. So they'll move back after Still that costly down. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Makes the grab past the marker, and it's the senior. He's tackled at the 49. First down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He's on the run, and they got it. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Idaho is going to use their first time out of the half here. Zips it to the tight end, and he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Gets it. He's in space. He's at the 20. That's a great tackle at the 16. Let's give some credit to the big boys up front. They held off the blitz just long enough for the quarterback to make the connection and pick up some good yards.
that play ever developed nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he hits the PAT. A nice five-play, 80-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you can move the ball down the field. So the score now, 21-14. For Werda, he'll get it the nine. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 33. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. That brings us third and ten. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That's a game of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 48. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. And now we see these he's back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. Fires across the middle. And down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught out in the open. Steps out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He gets rid of this one. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Catches it, and that's all. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. First down. From the 22-yard line. First down. Five wide. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Gain of seven on the play. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And they make the stop, the 10 yard line. Flips it middle to the running back, and he's tackled at the two. 
The offense calls a timeout, and that was their last timeout. And this is the 13th play of this drive. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And it's good. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 46. Well, we've got a barn burner here, and at the end of the first half, Idaho's up by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm sure both teams have problems in the first half, but one of them, David, not moving the football. Both offenses really ran up and down the field. We see this more in college football, Reese. More success on the offensive side, and it's harder and harder to stop these offenses that continue to get more and more complicated. The defenses, they got no answer. They got to find an answer quick, or else this ball game is just going to go tick for tack the whole second half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Are they stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. From the eight-yard line, he makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Idaho is up four. tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Up the middle for a nice game. the sacks. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. It's second and 12. Ball on the 40-yard line. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third and long now after the sack. He wants it all. Can't connect. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. Fourth down. Ryan awaits the snap. And he muffed it. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one.
This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throws a strike over the middle. Tackle at about the 45. Williams makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. First down. going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and nine. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. down and he's going to get sacked. So the sack makes this third and very long. Wants to go long and does. Doesn't get there. Bird was the intended receiver on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Williams is back awaiting the punt. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 41. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Idaho is up by four. Throws complete, he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 46. Pressured and brought down. That is a loss of six on the play. That makes it third and 11. Receiver. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. For Wardo, back deep to return. And down he goes at the 39. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 45. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Mike 41, Mike 41. He's at the 40. Tackle made right around the 40. That makes it first and 10. Mike 41. Roger, Roger. Watch 14. Watch 14. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll make it second and inches. Gibbs gets another hand on. He makes his way to about the 22. First down. Larry, 
throws and it's incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. And that one's incomplete. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. And he might want it all here and does. He's got it. Touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Well, they're definitely playing a lot better defense here in the third quarter than they were in the first half. Early. Yeah, the first half, they just looked confused. They made the right adjustments that they needed to at halftime. Boy, they're right now, they are on fire, playing with a lot more confidence. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The count here at the Kimmy Dome is the Big Blue, 24, the Vandals, 21. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's tackled at about the 41. From their own 41-yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down around the 50-yard line. About nine yards there for the quarterback. That brings up second and one. it out to about the 47 yard line from the 47 yard line it's first down zipped it out and that was almost picked off Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver you wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. He makes his way to about the 32. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32. Scramble. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. And this play is number eight on the drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's on the run. And he is drilled at the 29. So he tried to scramble there, but it didn't even look like he got a yard. He just got lucky to get to the line of scrimmage after that play. Here, the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on the corner, or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires on 
back to his receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 17. Tenth play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Anderson was the intended receiver on the play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 17. is the 12th play of the drive. Here's a handoff, left side. Touchdown, and they take the lead. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. Tacks on the extra point. Bennett has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. At the 30. He gets hit out of bounds around the 37-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes. That's the 50. That makes it first and 10. Just under two to go in the game. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. Makes it to the 37. With the tackle. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Quick throw. And he's tackled around the 23 yard line. Gain of 14 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey, watch number five, number five, watch number five. Knocked out of bounds around the 16 yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and they make the stop around the eight-yard line. Franklin makes the tackle at the eight-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and goal. They come out in a five-wide set. It's 
scrambling around. Heading for the corner. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Lowe fields it at the 11. Tackle made at the 33. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Well, this is the chance. Late in the fourth quarter, they're behind, but they've got an opportunity now to come back and win it. Tackle around the 38-yard line. Moore picks up around five yards with that catch. The Vandals taking their first time out of the half. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 38, five wide. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. We have less than a minute to go. He passes it. He's hit and taken down. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 28. some time. Tackle made the 21 yard line. Spikes the ball. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. hit before it can go anywhere. He's going to try and scramble. The 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. And they're going to take a timeout here and let him think about it. This to take us to overtime. The kick is up, and he got it! puts an end to the no huddle offense by calling timeout. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 36. And that's the end of the fourth quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Set. 390. 390. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at the 12. From the 12-yard line. First down. He's 
knocked out of bounds at the seven yard line. Sure, the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. They're at the seven. It's third down. He scrambled. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Execution and a great way to start overtime. Now you put this thing in the hands of your defense. If they step up, you get the win. He splits the uprights with the extra point. First and ten. Ball in the 25. Fires right side. Got his tailback. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line. Williams on the tackle at the 15-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. the touchdown. So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's taken down around the 13-yard line. Williams makes the tackle at the 13-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they push him out around the 10-yard line. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. So the kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. Kicks away, and he's got it. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 10-yard line.
Well, they knew exactly what they had to do here to win this football game, and they went out and did it. It's been a battle the entire game, and I don't think there's any doubt that these guys completely deserve this W. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. The Vandals, 44. The Big Blue, 41. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.